Welcome back. I mean, it's a banging Abaddon pick, mm. to be fair. Like, Alrighty. It, so we get the carrier pattern at long last here in the region. I've been waiting for this, been wanting to see it. You also don't get the full value because you want to use Stroke of Fate on the creep wave to get that extra damage. But Red Panda, he's playing on the side. Yeah, he's just been sitting here and now there's the cookie. This could be first blood ink swell, maybe a kill afterwards. With the axes thrown, Red Panda will still fall to JT, but the Curse of Avernus procs and they are sending summons to Paparazzi's lane. First <laughs> it's board, now it's Centaur Conqueror. They yeah. are really playing around him. Avalanche, toss, arrow. And the Centaur Conqueror gets the stun, but they've got the Star Storm from TK to get the kill on a Paparazzi. 10, 15 minutes, mostly 10 minutes of the game. They look really good. Now Final first lane. rotation. Yeah. Swashbuckle, disarm, DY, no impetus. So not exactly the easiest kill, but eventually they'll get there. And Red Panda going to be chased down as well with the help of Ghost. But with the TP from the Tiny, they don't want to commit. They're a little bit scared to go all the way through for Red Panda. Paparazzi, he's low on mana. Hmm. He does not have anything. Just the Clarity running. Another Toss available. Another Avalanche in a couple of seconds. They want to save Ghost. Cookie lands. And with that, I, I think Ghost just dies here. TK actually gets the kill with Arrow. I want to see a value point in Phantom's Embrace on level 5, and then you're going to get a point in Soulbind. Avalanche, Stroke of Fate, Arrow coming in. That's going to hit a creeping swell. That'll pop. But uh, Cookie away. White Album tossing Paparazzi into the air, and they're going to continue to chase the tiny Stroke of Fate. But Kaka, with the Star Storm and the damage from White Album, will end up getting the kill onto the Grimstroke oh, after he dies. That's a big dies. one. Reach and Rune picked up by TK and taken away from Paparazzi, who has no mana. Oh, man, if Paparazzi picks that one up, he might be able to get the kill on TK. Regen still running, goes back to Gosh, full mana. Pango! He's getting run down here by Ghost. While you're playing into ABBA with Radiance, make a stronger illusion. E e that e is magic it. immune. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Vortex, borrowed time, ink swell, keeping them close, and they've got the Primal Roar to follow that up, but the Mortimer's Kiss is over from the side from Red Panda, the Soulbind by Paparazzi can't survive, even with the leash on these two heroes, and Uu sitting low, just don't have the damage again. Top lane, JT's in the trees, they've got shang C under the Moonlight Shadow with the rest of the team coming over. White Elm's got that blink, so blink, avalanche, Mortimer's Kisses, avoids the arrow, but the Rolling Thunder follow-up. JT's going to be dead again. But Vanguard blink next is going to be the Heaven's Halberd. I don't know if that's all going to be enough, Kaka. Swell. Oh, Radiance Burp. All right, that's the counter. Paper beats rock. Go over and get Paparazzi. Actually gets bounced away from the arrow. Not going to banner. Even pop in the illusion room, but he won't survive. The onslaught coming in from Master Ares. The rest of the team is doing Roche. Three points in Inner Beast. Seems like they don't know that this is happening. Are those two deaths worth it, though, at the end of the day? To just get this Aegis? Because he was just, he would walk up to a creep wave and steal every last hit from XWY. I catch JT again. Kaka's also in the vicinity. Rolling Thunder, Blink, Kaka caught. Mortimer's Kisses, a little bit too far to get JT, but they get the kill on the Kaka, and with the Rolling Thunder, now the Kisses will follow up. Swell, TK. That's a quick way to get a kill. They'll look over at Uwu, but they've got the toss up into the air on a Kaka, Avalanche. It will bully the support as the BKB gets popped by Ghost. The right-click damage is going to be enough. Not yet. They've got the cookie. They've got Ghost in trouble with the BKB. Oh, oh Pango's fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> he went pretty far on that toss. They get the kill on a DY, so it ends up being a two-for-one and a five-man smoke from Extreme. They just don't have the damage. Use Dark Portrait. I don't think you'd need to get another illusion from Soulbind. Mm -hmm. Ooh, running in. And he'll use that Dark Portrait. So now they've got this Abaddon running around and just right-clicking away onto this Red Panda. Snapfire, look at the damage he's taking. Just from the Dark Portrait. Avalanche toss back, arrow flying through. BKB very, very, very early from Ghost. Ball lining in, BKB from Paparazzi. They get the kill on the Red Panda. They'll look over at Uhu, who popped the borrowed time. 
Volleying back the other way. They'll buy back on the Snapfire. White D.Y. Album caught him. Uh-oh. White Album. Avalanche. Toss. Killing a paparazzi with no BKB. D.Y. just TPing out. BKB's been popped by White Album. Uwu. Now on the main line. Another Dark Portrait is available. They'll smoke up. Axis cooking. Oh, D.Y. got the kill, but they'll snatch the Aegis on Uwu. Primal Roar is out. Oh, no. He pushed him out. And now they look over as this Pango's going to die. Shanksy, Red Panda, both gone. Red Panda bought back in the previous fight. Those Nature's attendants can't attend to the wounds there on D.Y., so he's dead. Uwu's got a killing spree. They find Kaka and will take out this Grimstrom. I like that build. It was the old school build as carry tiny and Vortex. Let's see if they can burst him. And they've got the BKB from both Ghost and Paparazzi. Who's going to go in? And he's got himself a basher. So Ghost isn't too free to just do whatever he wants. But they've got the Primal Roar. They've got the right clicks coming in. They also oh will right click God, and light up Shane C. But the Abba. arrow lands on a Ghost. So now Uwu is right on top of him. And Ghost is in trouble. Will fall. Uwu does die in return, though. So it's not all bad for extreme gaming as TK's on the high ground and will TP out. I think he uh, forgets that it's spell immune. Soulbind, more of his shots. Meanwhile, there's an ancient black dragon taking the bottom tier three, so just keep him here while we take your base. Because there goes the tower. They're gonna go in with the rolling thunder, they go to the BKB with the right clicks coming through. They've got the toss up into the air and a paparazzi, they blow them both up. They both have buyback. DY looking like he's gonna be next and he'll fall. All three heroes have buyback, but guys, your base! Now they're it's, TPing it's out. going down! TK tries to TP, now he's trying to leap away. Silenced by the trap, the right click's coming in, the Deso damage is through, and TK's gonna fall. Kaka died again, though, to White Album. They can't and bash him. can't get bashed, so he's just gonna TP out. Those missed chances, evasion, 20% from Trickster, so I like him. We see Aetherlands, and also D.Y. has been holding Telescope, so extra cast Whoa. range got to come in very handy. Aparazzi goes south, pops the BKB, and now Kaka's in trouble. The Aeon Disc, it's going to be used, and they get the kill into Shang-C, but they've got... Oh, Kaka trying to run. Dark Portrait, Mortimer's Kisses, there goes Kaka. Soulbind on him, right clicks in. Ooh, he's happy to run forward. He's got an Aegis. We'll be able to blink Dark out. Dark Portrait looking for other heroes, and... Ghost pushing top, bottom lane though. Ball lightning back and forth. Uh, Storm would love to have that level 25 cookie even deeper. Venom's embrace. Trap for the silence. Gobble up, spit out, blink away to avoid that. But now He's White Owl going deep. with a toss. He's in very far. Soul bind on the both him as well as Uwu. They've got the bash though on a paparazzi. He needs to be careful. Ball lightning away. They've disarmed Ghost and they'll take the bottom tier three. JT doing the same thing. Pango forced to TP out and try to defend Barracks. Yeah, and he's going to go forward with this and trying to get through backdoor. Ball lightning, pop of the borrowed time. They've got the vortex to trap down the silence. The arrow's not going to land. White Album, he looks like he's just going to die. He doesn't have buyback. He's actually dead for 100 seconds. Kaka falls, both supports without buyback for the side Another of Extreme dark Gaming. Portrait. Right clicks from Ghost in onto these heroes. Gobble up, spit out. TK thrown into the base and silence up thanks to the trap, but they got the stun on the Ghost. Paparazzi, three-man Vortex with the damage coming in. TK's gonna drop. There goes Red Panda, and Ulu's Aegis will finally be used. They're right on him as they will get the silence. The first hit bash from Uwu. But it doesn't look like it's gonna he keep him alive. Refresher or borrowed time, blink away, trying to get out. Will they chase him? These uh, this damage from Ghost is pretty nuts. Ten thousand damage dealt in the previous Ghost. fight. Silence, primal roar, but the rolling thunder with the BKB pop up second and cooldown. Oh no! Hundred seconds without Ghost, and you've got these supports back in a second. Yeah, three K lead for Aster Ares. Like really ahead. And then really not ahead. Vortex on a two. TK dies. Another dark portrait running at these heroes. I don't know if he really likes that refresher. The dive bomb hawk dropping down on the Uwu. He's only a half health. Like right clicks the impetus. Uh, DUI. 
He just takes out your carry. That would feel really bad. The blink with the BKB, the primal roar on the white album. Shang C comes in with a rolling thunder, and Kaka's gonna get hit by that. And the Mortimer's kiss is right on top of him, but he's got the Aeon disc. So he's level 25. He ended up taking the plus three hits to the Phantom's Embrace. That will make it 12. So if you have two letters, you do not have buyback. Ooh, Swashbuckle Bash, but TK ripped apart. Mortimer's Kisses, and JT surviving, but ooh, blinking in. Dark Portrait comes through, and the right clicks, he's having to be using his uh, time and attention onto the Dark Portrait. They'll look over at White Album and get the kill. Paparazzi's got that, the Vortex on a two. Down goes Red Panda, and Ulu all of a sudden is alone. And he is just gonna straight up die here to all of Extreme Gaming. And they might just retreat off that. Roche is up soon. Gobble up, spit out, White Album lands the Avalanche. They're gonna come in with the Rolling Thunder. They'll look over Paparazzi. They have the Abyssal Blade that's gonna lock him down, but he goes to the BKB. He'll ball lightning away. The Rolling Thunder is right on top of JT. So he's the one who doesn't have buyback, and he's the one who's gonna get killed. And now they see them inside the Roche Pit. This is a big one for Presence. Ball lightning, Vortex on a two, the damage from Ghost! Oh man, blows up Red Panda now going in on a White Album. He doesn't have buyback, who is next on the list? Uses that Abyssal to lock up Paparazzi, but that's not gonna last for long. Ooh, trying to borrow some time, but nobody's got change. And they'll look over as Ooh get run down. He's the only one of focus, the only one that matters. They'll take him out for two minutes and they'll call GG Extreme Gaming. We'll take game number one over Aster Ares. Oh man, this game was so close. And here we go. Coming into this game number two, Aster Ares, they have been lacking. And you see the right clicks, Paparazzi. I think he has way too much. He played the lane really well. First two levels. First spike, here come the arrows, the frost arrows with the hacks. Red Panda in trouble. And the multi shot, oh, gets first blood, but it's for Kaka. Kaka gets the first blood on his signature lion, and now DY will get another one. Yeah, TK getting run down, has the Star Storm, and puts a point, a second point in Boundless Strike. And now they're making a rotation. Yeah, but Kaka's here, so Hex, Hurricane, her spike, Red Panda and TK are both here, so it looks like Kaka might be the one who ends up paying for this, especially with White Album coming over, and eventually they'll get the kill. Ooh, denying the tower, but now he's left alone bottom, so this is a problem. Look at the Wrath of Nature damage that comes in. Kaka, not following that up immediately, but they've got the arrow, they have the Boundless Strike oh, on the Earth Spike. I'm not sure if it was it. not ready or if he was holding it. JT. Into the trees, and they've got the damage. Paparazzi trying to make a solo move on Ulu. Hex also over in the mid lane. They'll get the kill on Akaka, though. Red Panda killing off that line. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Wukong's not doing anything either for Paparazzi. Uh, okay. Maybe a bit rusty on his Monkey King. Maybe, and now Ghost. I think he's just dead. Mortimer's Kiss is right on top of him. Extreme, this is kind of similar to what happened in game number one. They played like this this sloppy mid game and they started to lose a lot of the lead that they had. At least they get Chang C, but they also lost DY and these heroes. JT, if he dies too, this just feels awful. Oh, Finger he dodges oh, it. Oh, wow. Still dies, but you doesn't slick even nonetheless. It's all about the HP if that you want. Oh, yeah, you want the HP. That's what it's all about. Hex, JT in a bit far. Earth Spike lands, but JT's going to be controlled and killed off as the Lucent Beam, the right click, comes in from Ulu with some impetus help. Ghost trying to farm up as much as he can, but Luna with this Mask of Madness Dragon lands. Oh. 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 oh! Side of Fist Searing Chains. Ghost is going to die again. Well done by White Album. This is not, I mean, it's all right. Sure, you get TK, but that is not a value trade because he's got that axe now. This is a big kill. Kaka, finger is available. Ooh. Ooh, no, something Ooh. is up. Tumblr's toy, there's the finger immediately after the earth spike and Ooh's gonna die with the Wrath of Nature flying in. Considering the way the lanes went, not where I thought extreme gaming would be at this point in the game. Oh, Ooh, another Tumblr's toy hex. Earth spike, Wrath of Nature, kisses to try and deter them from continuing this onslaught. But they get the kill and Shang C falls. Red Panda now without Mortimer's Kisses. But this, like we've talked about the scaling lineup on their side, it looks really good. J 
JT. Rolling Thunder and catching up to JT. They've got the cookie to keep him controlled, but JT's still surviving. And now the Hurricane to pull him back into the Lucent Beam. JT will fall finger oh, no. on a TK, and that is another stack that's not going to happen. He even puts like Tranquil Boots in his backpack so he doesn't get canceled, gets that extra movement speed. Can they lock him down? And the arrow, so the right clicks, the hex, the kill, and a white album. There's a couple of items coming out our way. Deso Monkey, BKB on Drow, and BKB on Nature's Prophet. Once they get those three items, they should try to take a one big fight. DY Ooh, again, DY. gonna yeah. get picked off. It shows off the double damage, but Kaka's in the vicinity as well, so that means they're gonna lose two. One too many. Why does have Jim and also Moonlight Shadow. Oh no, he jumped in. That's yeah. Arrow though, on to Red Panda. They get the kill there. Rolling Thunder used by Shang C. And JT's got a kill over on the White Album. That's with the Wrath of Nature. That means they've got the root, and Shang C's going to fall as well. Too many heroes dying at the same time. DK now in trouble. Yeah, JT is here. Try and run him down. And. As the Sprout has that level 20, the arrow! Oh no, not gonna land, but let's see if it matters. Chingu, Sprout's getting his way. They leashed him up. They'll even use the Wukongs to get this kill. Paparazzi finally getting some stacks on that Deso. Where Extreme Gaming is at the moment, but they are holding the high ground. And they need to find the right way in. They're gonna blink forward. Paparazzi with the BKB very early. The arrow is not gonna land on the red panda. He's off to the side looking for the Mortimer's Kisses, and that's exactly what he'll do. But now Wukong's over with the finger to start the damage, and they blow up. Ooh, Ghost has more than enough damage to get him and White Album. TK falls to Paparazzi. He's wicked sick, and all of a sudden, Extreme Gaming, it is a 10k net worth lead. Another smoke. Oh, boy. They, this might have been caught. Gust. And oh, the my God. Thunder, down to the half HP. Damage, and the Wrath of Nature with the BKB from JT. They get the kill to shang -Chi. So Ghost gets one, ooh, on the run. Ghost with the multi-shot, the four staff onto the high ground, and they look over at White Album, but right clicks again, oh, Ghost! He is putting out so much damage, he just can't get the finishing blows on these kills until TK drops to DY, and they get themselves a second. And he'd be really in business in terms of uh, getting himself some net worth. Ooh, Kaka. Finger to start with the Earth Spike. No fire. Right clicks in from JT in the multi shot. They get the kill, but Ghost low. Wukong's command. Ooh, trying to get to the back lines to go for this Drow, but might have put himself a little bit too far. They've got the Hex. They'll get the kill. They'll take the Luna. 85 seconds without this Luna is a very big deal. JT still holding his ground. Yeah, Co great Hicks cookie. And cookie on a two. And they'll get the kill on a JT. He'll buy back. They got the buyback coming out from White Album, but they'll take out Red Panda and TK. They've got the leash on the White Album, and they'll kill him off before his buyback symbol is gone, and they'll call GG. Extreme Gaming will take the 2-0 over Aster Ares.